hello um welcome back helen here thanks for joining me uh, it is day three of 30 days of sketches and we have this sketch um i'm not doing get, get in shape anymore so let's cover that up um we have this sketch and i have not noticed who made it i'm really sorry i'll drop it in the comments i did have the sheet with everybody's names on but i don't know where i put it so what i'm oh is, is it ginger no i think ginger was yesterday's um yeah i will have it in the comments anyway so i'm actually flipping the sketch so i'm and this looks like it's all mixed media i'm actually going to use ripped paper for that so i'm flipping the sketch so i'm going to have my, because of the way that myself and traveling companion who has asked not to be on in my videos and on my social media which absolutely you know respect that that's absolutely fine um we're both looking that way <laughs> so covered up um she's covered up and i put the photos this side because we're looking into the page now i did my usual starting planning what i'm doing and getting carried away which is why you know i've got a big chunk done this is just me remembering what my title's going to be. Um, we are in Nairn at James's Ice Cream par Parlour. It's uh, James is on the park. It's on, on the park, funnily enough, in Nairn. I am using DLS Design Playful. They do their collections alphabetic, alphabetical. So this is Playful. This month is xoxo um so it's up to x so it's how many months back from x to p that playful was it was one of the ones last summer anyway like june july august up time so we're eating ice cream james on the park uh james on the green i think it is actually in there and, um does the most amazing ice cream i'm having this is strawberry and balsamic vinegar that i've got and it's just beautiful and it's just one of my favorite places to go and we're up that sat end of scotland so light sketch i've got the three photos i've got this is on a block which overhangs a block but then because i've done pattern on white and then this piece here that i've done in place of the mixed media is pattern on white i've wanted something between these two to break it up so i've put this piece of yellow then that's kind of brought everything over this way too much on the block so I've put this piece of pink underneath it all that it all sits on, on top of this piece. And then that's all on a lovely big piece of trial by trial with something, summer vibes. Now, for my title, I don't, so those in the UK, I don't know if it's an advert in America, but in the UK, Terry's Chocolate Orange is a, I think it's gorgeous, yummy ball of chocolate. And the advert for it is, it's not Terry's, it's mine. So I thought for the title for this, I'm going to do It's Not James's, It's Mine. Um, so that's going to be my title and I'm going to stamp it. So I've got my DLS design, my stamps from the different collections here. Um, this is a great one for making pocket cards. It came with the XL kit a few months ago. So back when I got this, I just got the scrap kit. And then sort of September, October-ish. I started getting the XL kit, which is a scrap kit, plus the pocket page kit. And you also get, um, you know, some extra, like an extra stamp set in there sometimes, which this one, mate, this was an extra stamp set, stamp set that month. And it's got these gorgeous, lovely little circles and things. And these tops look great for making uh, pocket cards. But I thought with the title, I'm either going to... So the it's not and it's, I thought I'd do in these that came with the collection and then James's and mine, I thought I'd do in one of the stamps. Oh, numbers. I actually thought I had the letters like that. I can't find them so I don't think I do have them. And i am not used this one. I quite like this one. So I think we'll use this one. We'll stamp with this one. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to stamp in. I think I'm going to find something like this red. So it's probably going to be pitch raspberry, sorry, pink. 
So it's probably going to be picked raspberry. And um, because like my ice cream is, like I said, strawberry and balsamic. So I want to keep like the pinks because of that. And the alphas I'm using from the collection as well are also like a paler pink. I'm just going to make sure I can spell what I want to spell. So I-T-S. I've got no apostrophe, so you're just going to, anywhere there should be one. <laughs> We're just going to pretend they're there. I-T, right, so I T S. N O T I T S. So yeah, we're okay. So I'll get I'll get it's not it's out of that. And and then the James's and mine. I'm gonna get out of this. I'm probably just gonna be like with a um a marker. I don't know what I've got marker wise in pink, but I'll find something to kind of just do a little apostrophe after the S for James's. So let's start with that. Let's start with my stamping. And then we'll get all this stuck down. And then we will then go from there. I'm thinking I cut the letters out. So. Yeah, I'm going to stamp them and then cut them out, stick them individually, I'm thinking. Which is why I also go for a blocky alphabet too. Um, I've zoomed out a little bit further today. Let me know if that looks okay or if I'm too far. I can't really tell at the minute because I'm on, like I, I watch it, I'm here and I'm watching my iPad there to make sure I'm in shot. And I thought, well, if I'm zoomed out, I don't have to worry too much about being in shot. <laughs> um, but also as well, you can kind of, when I wander off the page, you can kind of see what I'm doing if I'm zoomed out a bit. So I've also got it a little bit further away from the edge of my desk than I normally do. So, you know, parts of me don't get in shot. <laughs> um, okay, so I think the only letter I'm using twice in the stamp is the E. So I should be able to pop all this on once on here. So we've got J. Oh, wait a minute, we're going that way. It's the mistake I made with my E yesterday, you know, if anybody saw yesterday's video. Because I forgot to go the other way around with the E. <laughs> I know. I ended up with an E the wrong way around on yesterday's video and I'm... But everybody who sees it goes, oh. So I showed it the, the layout to my niece and my sister today. And they were both like, oh, I love that with the uh, E the other way around. And I'm like, yeah, it wasn't supposed to be the other way around. It was by mistake. But I'm making it work, I hope. Um, I forgot I use the M as well, don't I, for mine. Um, so I, N, and then E. I probably am spreading these out more than I should on this paper. Let's be more frugal, shall we? As I said, I'm going to probably cut the letters out so I'm not being too precious about getting them lined up. If I was doing it on a white background, I might even have tried stamping it straight on the background. I've been brave. I know. Don't do that often, do I? <laughs> Apart from, you know, stamping directly on photographs and things. Okay, let's get the pick raspberry out. Oh my gosh, I'm so struggling speaking at the minute. Um, I've got so many ink pads that I've got out of these bags and not put back in. That it's all going to fall soon. <laughs> if raspberry is going to be dark enough let me just do this whoa everything's falling off because i knocked it on my water bottle yeah picked raspberry it's good good shout on my part well done helen <laughs> oh 
let's put the rest away. So after I've done this layout, whilst this video is uploading to my PC because I just can't cope with editing on my phone screen, uh, I am going to be packing for a retreat for the weekend. So I'm going to do this video, start it uploading to my computer, start packing, edit the video, I've missed the middle of the end, um, edit the video. I'm probably going to record another layout video first after I've edited this one and upload that and then finish packing. It's the plan for today, but we're already 10, 10 to 3 in the afternoon, so... How likely is that to happen today? <laughs> it needs to though, because I go tomorrow. Okay. I am just gonna grab some tissue to wipe this. My mixed media wall, I have a roll of kitchen towel. I mean, I do have a, a chamois cleaning my stamps I just find sometimes just giving it a pat down with a bit of kitchen towel is perfectly fine make sure they're both far enough down yes they are I'm just doing twice because I did the other ones twice too. So we'll just do it twice because of that. Okay. So that's that done. And I'm going to pause here and come back when these cut out. I'm going to. So what I'll do, I'm going to cut these out, get the layers on my layout stuck down and then come back and we're going to work out where the embellishments and the title and my journaling is going to go. Be right back. Right, so everything apart from these little embellishments is stuck down. Um, I've actually ended up putting the title on a piece of vellum and then that piece of vellum is going to tuck in. So we are going to put the adhesive up this end of the vellum and then that's going to tuck under so you don't see it. We could also do... Mm, that's not quite far enough, wait a minute. Make sure this is straight as well. That's it, there we go. I'd also put like dot between behind some of these bigger letters uh, if you know you want it nice and secure. So I did actually make a journaling card with these stamps, but because my thought was I was going to do it there with this on that, but I did too much ping, didn't I? Um, so that's not going to go there. What I am thinking, and I've already glued it down, so it's not, I'm not going to be able to do it, is sort of cutting a bit out of this to sit in here uh, to be my journaling card there. Let's see if I can get this sort of embossed in a way where I can cut it out for it to sit in. See if this works. I don't know if this will work. But we'll give it a go. So I'll go there like that. And then do that end like that. Okay, so just embossing it. Okay. 
doesn't have to be exact because it's you know I'm going to have things over it so I'm thinking I'll put my journaling in there that looks all right and then this can be stuck down on this corner because it's going to be covered with that heart like that I probably am going to cut stick them down but I am going to uh, work on like the embellishment clusters before I do that so let's move the stamps out of the way in the tray I've got get that out of the way um, so these are the die cuts for this collection and then some epoxy and there's some stickers and there's some not epoxy acrylic and epoxy and some stickers so i mean i know that's those little potted plants but actually if that's tucked under kind of looks like bit of like note paper stuck out doesn't it so we're going to do that oh. now oh getting bits falling all over the place like that they're like that I like that it's all these like orange different colored orange segments and then some drinks some there's a bikini some sunglasses i don't think either of us are wearing sunglasses uh, there's some leaves that i like so if we put the green one up here with all this blue and then oh, the other ones are both blue aren't they blue and a pink and then a blue one I need a bit of green down here that green must have come from a different collection that must have dropped out from another collection because I don't see any other green in here I don't want to do blue because there's that blue there let's grab outgoing or oh, let's have a look at Zen actually Zen might have the green in Zen's got like these really cute dogs and things in it. Um, that's a Bramble Fox paper snip. Got the pink again there. That's pink again. Oh, I've used all the greens. These are just so cute. Oh, how about... of the layers so a little layer there behind all of that and kind of cheat a layer down here like that Maybe not. <laughs> That's a little bit of it. That's okay. A bit of it with that cluster there. Still trying to find green flowers. 
these are just so cute. Love this twine as well. Um, I might end up using some of these paper snips. So this Zen kit, this was um, I got from Paper Fox at the retreat last year. And I didn't make all the um, things in the, you know what I'm going to do, I'm not going to die cut. I didn't make all the projects in the kit. So I've got bits left over. I'm actually going to use a punch. I've got a leaf punch. I have also got a die cut with like longer stemmed flowers that'll um leaves that'll do as well. And what we're gonna do three of the same. The great thing about the DLS design kits is you can mix and match because they they use their own colour palette. So it does all work together, it's great. I just think this touch of green with all this pink. Just works. And then we're going to have, so we'll do some journaling there. And then we need a label with the date on. Got orange, got orange there. We've got an orange label. Yeah, orange, orange label with the date, the orange, Lolly stick. Right, I can still stick this down and then see where we're up to then. I'm going to call that done. Uh, get some photos, stills done for the end. So that's day three. So that's this sketch, flipped it over. And uh, yeah, we're at uh, James putting green in then having an ice cream. And it's not James's, it's mine. I don't have any apostrophes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.